Hey second graders, um, today we are going to be first talking about the properties of matter and then we will move on to our next lesson when we are done. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are going to be talking about the structures of matter. First, it is important to know what is matter and why does it matter? You guys like my pun there. So, matter is any physical substance that occupies space and has mass. So space is any of the room around us, right? There's space in between me and the computer. There's space between you and the computer or whatever device you're using, right? And mass is the amount of space something takes up. So um, that would be like your whole body. Your body has mass. Um, so I want you guys to think of any examples of matter. It doesn't have to be any of the ones I mentioned. It can be, but matter is so many things, right? Matter is you, your chair, your grandma is matter, and that's why it matters. So let's learn how to describe the qualities of matter. So, got cut off. <clears throat> so let's learn about the common qualities to describe matter. There is the color of something, the size, the shape, the weight, the texture, flexibility, and strength. So we're going to break those down just a little bit more here. Color, obviously, um, we, all, we can all see color, most of us. Even if you're colorblind, you can see some colors, but... Um, color describes the light reflected by the object, deter determined visually. That is a fancy way of saying if you look at a green crayon, that is the way life, light reflects off of it, and it's green because of light. So we can just say that the color is green. That's all you have to write. Size, the bulk or proportions of an object. Okay, so that would be, the size would be like, okay, like if it's a really long or if it's really short, um, small, big, words like that. Shape is the quality of an object or body in having a surface or outline. So that is just shape simply. So if I look at my pencil, my pencil is kind of like a line. It's um, a long pointy line, right? Or you can say... My computer screen is square. You can say that my picture frame is a rectangle, different things like that. Weight is the amount of heaviness or mass, the amount something weighs. So I think that's pretty um, self-explanatory. We all know that word pretty well. Texture, that is the look and feeling of a surface. So the top of my desk is very smooth. The outside of a rock is very rough. Those are the ways that you would describe texture. Now, flexibility is the ability to be bent without breaking. Now, some things we can just kind of look at and, and see that it's not flexible and that it would break if you did try to, like a pencil. That's a really good, easy example. Piece of paper, however, is very flexible, right? You can bend it many, many times without it breaking. Um, it's a really strong material in that way, okay? Um, and then strength is the quality of being strong. So is this matter a strong object? Can I observe it being strong? A rock, right? You could set a bunch of stuff on a big flat rock and it would be really strong and be able to hold it, right? So we are going to practice describing objects. I want you guys to think of qualities of this pillow, okay? Remember our qualities. I have them listed on the screen. They are color, size, shape, weight, texture, flexibility, strength. I'll give you a minute here. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to think, but I will go over some qualities with you guys. Color, we can see that it's white. Size, 
it's not that big. Shape is it's rectangular. Weight, it's probably pretty light. That one's hard for us to test without actually being able to hold it, but we can assume that it's light. Um, texture, it's probably smooth. Again, we can't really test that one. Flexible, again, probably pretty flexible. You can probably bend that pillow without breaking it. Strength, you know, it can hold objects. It can hold your head, that's for sure. There's different ways to describe strength. All right, so next we have um, our, this rock here. I'm not gonna list everything off, but I do want you to pause the video here and think of two to three qualities you could use to describe this rock. I'm gonna go over a couple. We can see that the rock is very multicolored. There's dark colors mostly, but there's also some lighter colors like a beige, or excuse me, like a tan, kind of in the upper part of the rock over here. Uh, size, it's big on the screen, but that one's hard for us to determine, but my guess is that it's probably a rock that would fit in about the size of your hand. Shape, it is kind of multi-shaped, I would say, meaning that it has a lot of different shapes going on. There's not necessarily a shape that we can easily observe. I suppose you could say it's rather circular, which means it's more similar to a circle, but it also has some ridges, so it's hard to say. Texture, I'm gonna say that it's probably pretty rough. Flexibility, it's probably not flexible at all. Okay, so those are some of the things that we can use to describe objects. We have milk. If you want to go over this one, I am going to have you pause it and think about two to three things that you would use to describe this object. And we are going to move on to the next one. All right, so next we have steam. This one I am going to go over with you guys. This one's a little bit different than some of our other ones. So with steam, we can observe a color, right? We can see that the steam is white, kind of a clear white. Size, oh, that, that one's hard. I guess we could say that the steam that we can see is pretty big shape. I would say kind of an upward, like almost kind of a rectangular shape with some jets coming out of it. Wait, huh, yeah, we can't, we can't weigh that one. Texture, we can't feel that one. Flexibility, we can't test that, and strength, we can't test that either. However, the steam is still matter. It is water in a gas form. Guys, let's take a quick break, and what I want you to do is experiment and observe properties of matter. I'm gonna give you guys a quick example. I have this wok. It is a giant pan used to make fried rice. Color, mostly black with some silver. A flexible and shape, like half of a circle. We're getting a lot of circles. Texture, kind of smooth. I think it's that, yeah, coating. I have this little Pokemon, it's called Populo. So color, blue. Pretty flexible shape, roundish everywhere. Texture, also soft, and that's it. Next we have this cactus, it's blooming, side note. Let's see, texture, kind of pokey. I don't wanna try to touch the green part, I'll definitely get hurt. Flexible, also don't wanna get hurt. We'll assume maybe a little bit because an organic material which means it's living it could be flexible but we're gonna say no in this case actually because it's pokey some shape also round there's a lot of round things texture um, depends on where the flowers are really soft and the pokies on the other hand are not so soft okay so color multicolor uh, many colors flexible She's pretty flexible, texture, very soft, shape, maybe a little round. Okay, so this is what you are gonna be doing. You're gonna be using the describing properties worksheet 
and you're going to take some time to find four to six objects around your house to describe using our qualities of matter that we had discussed. I want you to share your findings with your parent or a teacher. If you need to change any of your thoughts, that's okay. True scientists accept and learn from any setback. All right, guys, so that concludes our part of the lesson for today. Uh, I want you to remember your findings, remember your conclusions. We are going to expand more upon them on our next lesson. Bye.